instructor's tutorial video for the Engineering Ambassador's Tabletop Wind Tunnel Demonstration. My name is Dan, and in this video, we will go over the basic features of the Engineering Ambassador's Wind Tunnel, instructions for setting up the Engineering Ambassador's Wind Tunnel, instructions for the visualization demonstration, instructions for the measurement demonstration, and precautionary measures. The Engineering Ambassador's Wind Tunnel helps high school students understand and calculate the Reynolds number of different vehicles. For this, the wind tunnel includes basic features. This is the transparent test section. Inside the vehicle, you can see it being tested. This is the inlet and outlet section where wind will be drawn through the test chamber. Inside the outlet, we have the fan, which is controlled by a wind dial below, which has low, medium, and high settings. Inside here, we have an anemometer, which measures the wind velocity inside the test chamber and is output to an application on your phone. Inside the test chamber is the strain gauge. The strain gauge measures the force being applied to it from the vehicle you're testing. And that force is output to an LCD screen where you can view it below. Over here is the liquid crystal thermometer for measuring the temperature inside of the test chamber. And finally, the ultrasonic atomizer to visualize streamlines in the test chamber. Now we will discuss some of the setup instructions. Place the wind tunnel on an elevated surface, such as a table or a lab bench. Ensure there is at least one meter of clearance from both the inlet and outlet sections. Make sure that the bottom of the test chamber is flat so that when the vehicle is placed down, it does not move forward or backwards into the strain gauge. Next, you should connect the power cord to a 120 volt AC power source. Make sure the AAA batteries are placed in the strain gauge battery pack. Also, check to make sure that the strain gauge is measuring in grams. Next, you will place the anemometer through the lid. Once you have placed the anemometer through the lid, Connect the headphone jack. Then you will download the app on the Android or Apple Store. Search CPS Link. Then you connect the headphone, other end of the headphone jack to your smartphone. Make sure you're measuring in meters per second. Take the ultrasonic atomizer tank out from beneath the test section and fill it with water. But keep the tank on the side for now. Place the selected vehicle in the test section by opening the lid and placing the vehicle centered on the strain gauge. First, place the ultrasonic atomizer right in front of the inlet section of the wind tunnel. Ensure the water is at the indicated level and that the car is placed in the correct position. Turn the fan on to the low setting and wait 5 seconds for the wind speed to stabilize. Connect the power wire to the ultrasonic atomizer. View streamlines over the vehicle. You may have your students come up closer to the front section of the wind tunnel for better viewing. Once complete, disconnect the ultrasonic atomizer. Turn off the fan. Pour out the remaining water from the tank. Place the tank back beneath the test section. In this demonstration, we will present the measurement demonstration for collecting data to measure the Reynolds number. First, to measure the frontal area of the vehicle, place it behind this grid. Each square in this grid is one centimeter by one centimeter, approximate the number of squares covered by the frontal area of the vehicle. Then, insert the car in front of the strain gauge. Ensure that the car is centered on the strain gauge. Turn on the strain gauge. Ensure that the strain gauge is measuring in grams. Additionally, Ensure that your smartphone is attached 
and is measuring wind velocity in meters per second. Turn on the fan to your desired setting. For the most accurate measurements, wait 5 seconds for the velocity to stabilize between each setting on the dial. For temperature measurements, record the temperature between colored strips on the liquid crystal thermometer. Finally, record the force displayed on the LCD screen, the strain gauge, and the wind velocity on the app on your smartphone. This concludes our instructor's tutorial for the Engineering Ambassador's Wind Tunnel. Thank you for watching.